Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about the language of sets. What is a set and how do we define the members of a set? So in general, when we are defining a set, a set is a collection of objects. These objects are the member of the set. We also call them the elements of the set as well. Sets are usually denoted by capital letters. If X is an element or a member of set like S, then we write X is in S. And sometimes we say that X is a member of S or X is in set S. However, if X is not an element or a member of set S, you write X is not in S. You might be saying, hey, what's the use of sets? For example, in SQL, which is a programming language, we use sets as the basic elements of this programming language. We are working with tables and tables are nothing but sets. Sets can be described in many different ways. Consider set A, which includes members A, B, C, and D. Please note that we're using curly brackets to represent a set. This is a set with one, two, three, four distinct members. You can also use a diagram and visualize set A. Set A includes members A, B, C, and D. Another set like B can include dog, cat, horse. This is a set with three elements or three members. Another set, we can make it more interesting, is a set which includes other sets. So set C includes set including one, set including one and two, set including pi in a peer number, and 17. But still, this set C has three members. Okay, now that we defined sets, Let's go to the next slide and work on some examples. Consider set A including 1, 2, 3. Set B including 3, 1, and 2. Set C includes 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, and 3. Question says, what are the elements of these three sets? How are these sets related? First of all, set A, B, and C have exactly the same three elements, which are 1, 2, and 3. So set A, B, and C, they are basically the same set. Set A includes 1, 2, 3, and set B has a different order. So we are allowed to change the order of elements in the set. Note that in set C, you have repetition of one. We can ignore the repeated element. One is the representative of element one. Two, three is repeated three times, but you can ignore the repetition. So basically set C has one, two, and three members. This question says, hey, is the object on the left-hand side, which is a set, is equal to number on the right-hand side, which is zero? The answer is no. The object on the left-hand side is simply a set. The object on the right-hand side is a number. They are different from each other. So these two objects are not mathematically equal to each other. Question C, how many elements are in set including number one and a set 
including one? Well, there are two elements in this set. One of them is number one, and the other one is a set including one. So you have one object and you have another object, two different objects. There is no repetition here. D. For each non-negative integer, like n, suppose u sub n be the set including n and negative n. Question says, find u sub 1, find u sub 2, find u sub 0. So you basically need to plug in 1, wherever you see n. You need to simply plug in 2, wherever you see n. And you simply plug in 0, when you see n. Calculation is very easy. It's basic algebra. U sub 1 includes two members, 1 and negative 1. U sub 2 has two members, 2 and negative 2. U sub 0 has only one member, which is 0. Please note that we have a repetition here, so we can basically ignore the second 0. Perfect. Oftentimes, we describe a collection of elements that is difficult to list directly using other format. So instead of describing the elements by listing them, we can use the property or the rule and define that set. For example, take the set like E, which is the set of all natural numbers where those numbers are even numbers. They have the following property. This is read as the set of all elements like x in the natural numbers such that x is an even number. So if you want to list E, you're basically listing all positive even numbers. Again, this is a short format to represent a set instead of listing the elements using raster format. When reading a set, the brackets means the set of. When you're writing this vertical line, it is read as such that or st. It basically saying that, hey, we have the set of all elements that are in n such that with the property that x is even. Another way to compare sets is by their size. Suppose set A includes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Set B includes 2, 4, and 6. We have another set like C, which has 1, 2, 3, and set D, which includes 7, 8, and 9. Well, what is the size of each set? The size of the set is called the cardinality of that set. So, we can just find the size of each one of these sets. The size of the first set is six. Why is that? Because you have six distinct numbers. One, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six. What is the size of B? It has three distinct elements. C also has three distinct elements. And also D, it has three distinct elements. Note that in the example here, A has six elements, B, C, and D all have three members. For sets that have a finite number of elements, the cardinality of the set is simply the number of members or elements in that set.
Again, please note that the cardinality of set 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 is not 5. It is 3 because you have repetition here. 1 is repeated twice, so we ignore the second one. 2 is repeated twice, so we ignore the second two. It basically has three distinct or unique elements. We don't count repetitions. In fact, the set including 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 is nothing but the set including 1, 2, and 3. Example is number 4 the same as set including 4? These two objects are the same. The object on the right-hand side is basically a set. The object on the left-hand side is a number. These two objects are not mathematically equal to each other. Let us take a look at another example. How many elements are in the set including 3, 4, 3, and 5? Please note that we have a repetition here. So we can basically ignore the second 3. You only have 3 distinct members in this set. They are 3, 4, and 5. Next question. How many elements are in the set including 1? a set including one, and another set which includes one, and a set including one. Okay, so I see three distinct elements here. There are three members in this set. The elements are one, set including one, and another set which includes Two other members, one and set, including one. So the cardinality of this set is three. It has three members. The first member, the second member, and the third member, which is just right here. Another example for you. So in this question, you want to know if two is a member of set including two? Well, the answer is yes. This set has only one member, which is two. This number is inside the set. So two is a member of the set. Another question for you. How many elements are in the set including two? Two two and two. Okay, I see repetition here. We need to ignore the repeated numbers. This set has only one member, which is two. Next question for you. In this question, how many elements are in the following set? Okay, this set includes a number and also a set. So we see two distinct objects. These two objects are mathematically different from each other. There are two members. One of them is number zero, and the other one is set including zero. So two interesting questions for you. Is the set including zero is a member of the set including set including zero and set including one? The answer is yes. I just see this object as a member of this set right here. So the answer is yes. But what about the second one? This set includes a set including zero and another set including one. I don't see number zero as a member of this set? So the answer is no. Next topic is about subsets.